Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to set up the Vortex Wireless 2 in Logic Pro X. In the Vortex Wireless 2 preset editor, change the pad type to either CC Momentary and change Release to 127. Or change the pad type to CC Toggle and set On to 127 and Off to 127. And that's it. Now send the preset back to the Vortex. Create a new project in Logic Pro X. Go to the top left of the screen and click on Logic Pro X. Click on Preferences and then General. Click on the Advanced icon and tick the box next to Show Advanced Tools. Now click on the MIDI icon Click on the Inputs tab and make sure your Vortex Wireless 2 is listed. Click on the General tab and go down to MIDI Remote. And make sure MIDI Remote is set to On and Set is set to Per Channel Strip. Now close Preferences. In the track list go to the plus sign and add four instrument tracks. Then select the first track and change the MIDI instrument. Now change the MIDI instrument for the other three tracks. Now in the track section, click on the plus sign again and add an external MIDI track. Your external MIDI track should say Vortex Wireless 2. Now click on the record button for the four instrument tracks so they are highlighted. Playing the Vortex now will play all four of the instrument tracks at the same time. Click on the volume control for the first of the instrument tracks. In the top left of the screen, click on Logic Pro X. Click on Control Surfaces. Click on Learn Assignment for Volume. Now move Fader 1 on the Vortex. Now click on the volume control for the second instrument. And move Fader 2. Click on the volume control for the third instrument and move fader 3. And click on the volume control for the fourth instrument and move fader 4. Now close the controller assignments window. Now by moving the faders 1 to 4 on the vortex you can mix the sound of the four instrument tracks. Click on the mute button for the first instrument track. In the top left of the screen, click on Logic Pro X. Click on Control Surfaces and click on Learn Assignment for Mute. Now press Pad 1 on the Vortex. Click on the mute button for the second instrument track and press Pad 2 on the Vortex. Click on the Mute button for the third instrument track and press Pad 3 on the Vortex. Press the Mute button on the fourth instrument track 
and click on Pad 4 on the Vortex. Close the Controller Assignment window. By clicking the pads 1 to 4 on the Vortex, you can now play any combination of the four instrument tracks together. Click on the Solo button for the first instrument track. Now at the top left of the screen, click on Logic Pro X. Click on Control Surfaces and click on Learn Assignment for Solo. Press Pad 5 on the Vortex. Now click on the Solo button for the second instrument track. And click Pad 6 on the Vortex. Now click on the Solo button for the third instrument track. And click Pad 7 on the Vortex. Click on the Solo button for the fourth instrument track. And press Pad 8 on the Vortex. Close the Controller Assignments window. By pressing pads 5 to 8 on the Vortex, you can now select any combination of the four instrument tracks. It's important to remember all the way through this process to make sure that the only track that's highlighted is the external MIDI track that should be named Vortex Wireless 2. To record all four tracks at the same time, make sure the external MIDI track is highlighted and make sure the record button for all four instrument tracks is highlighted. At the top of the tracks list, click on the automation icon. In the first instrument track, make sure it's set to volume. Then change read to touch. And do the same with the other three instrument tracks. Now click on the automation icon again. Now, when recording all four tracks at the same time, moving faders one to four on the vortex will be recorded as well. Note that when you're recording, all the data for the four instrument tracks is recorded to the external MIDI track. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us the thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.